everyone, it's Narelle here. In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to use the hide contour feature in Design Space 3. So here I am at a blank canvas and I'm going to click on the images button. And I want to find an image that has lots of different contours. And these images here are perfect for what I want to show you. Now it comes from a cartridge called Folk Art Festival. And if I click on that information button there, you can see that that comes up. Now, if I want to see all of the images that are in that cartridge, I can now just click on Folk Art Festival and it's going to show me everything that's in that cartridge. So what I'm going to do now is go and find an image that I want to use. So I'm going to go over here and use this Folk Art Guitar. So I'll click on that and select Insert Images. And there we are. So I'll just bring that over here, make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Now to use hide, hide contour, I need to click on this button down here called contour, but you can see that that's not active at the moment. And that's because this image is actually a grouped image of three different layers. So what I need to do is ungroup that by clicking on the ungroup button. And now when I click on that piece there, the contour button is now active. So I'll we'll click on that and that gives us this screen. Now the, the image itself is larger than what fits in this screen so I'm going to click on the zoom out button here so that we can see all the different contours. If you're working on an image that um, has lots of very small pieces that you need to hide and it's difficult to actually grab them you can also use the zoom in button to make things much bigger on the screen and then just use your mouse to scroll up and down through that image. But that's not the case here, so I'm going to go back to 50% so that I can see all of it. So there's my image, and as I move my mouse over that image, you can see that different contours are being highlighted. And I can click on any of those contours and hide them. Then as you look over on the corresponding image over here, you'll see that that image or that contour has now been hidden, which means it won't cut. So I can continue going and selecting the pieces that I want to hide. And again, as I do that, they disappear from the image here. Now, if I go over to the right side of this screen, you can see that all of those contours are here and you can hide the contours from that panel there. So if I wanted to hide the two bottom pieces down here, not only can I click on them here, I can also do that from this list here. So there's a second way that you can hide them. So at this point I've decided, okay, well, mm, there's actually a lot of contours in here and I only wanna keep these three here so it's much quicker for me now to go and select hide all contours and then just go and click on the three that I actually want to keep. So once I'm finished doing that and I'm, I'm satisfied that that's all I want to do to that image, I go and click on the mat or on the canvas and now there's my guitar with just the three pieces hidden. So that's Hide Contour. It's so much easier to use now than Design Space 2 and I hope that you agree with that. There's one other thing that I wanted to quickly show you which is a really neat feature. Um, if I go and click back on Images now, the Folk Art Festival ca uh, cartridge is still there. So if I wanted to go and find another image from the Folk Art Festival, I don't have to go and search for that image again, oh, sorry, or I don't have to search for that cartridge again. It's there um, ready for me to go and select another image from. And I found that really neat. And I don't remember that being the case in Design Space 2. If I do want to go back to just seeing all images, all I need to do is go over to here and click on images and it will take away the Folk Art Festival uh, cartridge and it'll bring back everything else. So that is a neat feature. Um, I hope you like that one too. So that's all for now for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.